Hey there you guys, welcome to my YouTube page, woo! Um, my name is Carrie and this is Makeup Madhouse. Today we are going to be doing a Bob Ross paint. I'm going to be following along with season three, episode 10, which is a campfire. Perfect for the Halloween season, so that's what I'm gonna roll with. It looks like it might be a little bit challenging for me, but I'm excited, so let's dive in. It starts off with a black canvas and then adds a lizard crimson to it. So I'm gonna use my Mayron Paradise paint, paint black, and then add some of the red into it. It's gonna be obviously different techniques using different mediums, but I'm going to try and stick along as best I can and use as similar of techniques as possible. just a layer of the color set powder from Mayron in an attempt to create a layer in between the layers of paint. The whole fun of this is just trying and playing and seeing what we can do with these different ideas and techniques. Taking my red and this little brush, I'm wiping a teeny bit off of the brush onto a towel and then kind of going on top. Here's our red layer. We're gonna add more translucent powder on top. Just give that little bit of a barrier in between. This is where I begin to get a little bit nervous because the product choices are so important. I'm going to be adding yellow and beginning to build the gorgeous ambiance and kind of yellows and oranges throughout. I'm going to be using cream paints for this. Little All right. cross Here we go. I don't know if this is gonna be my product choice for the for long term. I give it a go with my water-based yellow. As things do not blend the same way as they do with the oil paints. So I feel like I've saved it a little bit and I really am just going in and making sure that this yellow part is a little bit more present. This is a part I wish that blended better. Well, it's doing a little bit color you have right there. Blending it <laughs> in with a dry brush. We are doing some trees in the background. I am more comfortable with the water-based paint so I'm gonna stick with that. We are going to start adding some trees and I'm going to mix the brown with a little bit of red, just a hint of red. Adding a little bit of black too because his trees are dark. There we got that one there, we'll give it a little branch. Got these little tree guys going, and now we're just adding some highlights. Bob said not to overdo it with the highlights. So I'm gonna try not to. Already bringing it to life a little bit more, which is exciting. Right. Very Bob tricky. says blend. Just oh, I feel like questions. I need a little more yellow. He has more. Just he has more than I do. Okay, I think that's enough. It really like died it down a little. Oh boy. It's always challenging picking which brushes to use. I am using my makeup brushes right now. A little something jazzy up here. Boom, boom, boom. I know I'm supposed to have fun with this, but it's like a little stressful. It always comes together in the end somehow. <laughs> I'm going back in with highlights on these little bushes. Just have a little bit left right here before we move on to the logs for the fire. I've been drinking coffee during this one, if you can't tell. I just watched him do it, so we're gonna give it a go. See, I don't love using the, the cream paint though because these stay shiny. Hmm, hope I didn't make a mistake. This is the ground. Try something new. I mixed together some water-based paint. And if this works, this will be huge, I think. Time to add our little campfire. Just a little boop, boop. This is the brightest part of the whole damn thing right now. I'm gonna go in and brighten some things up, even it out a little bit so it makes sense. <laughs> Let's go. 
He's using Van Dyke Brown, but I'm going in with black. <laughs> Touch. Touch. Pull straight down. And pull. It would be directly Touch. The bar out. Down. That way automatically. So that'll be the brightest. Yeah. And then while it's still a little, yeah! While it's still a little wet. Caught it. We're learning, see? <laughs> Back in with the fan brush, and we're adding a little bit of grassy stuff over here. He's going in right now and blending all of this stuff together. And it makes me really nervous, the idea of trying to do that, because this paint doesn't really want to move. It looks so pretty, though. A little bit of pressure and blending. I might be doing a little bit, but my piece is very dark. <laughs> all the way across. It's not doing much for me. We're making a tree. We're gonna start. We're gonna start here. Go boop, boop, boop. All the way up. I'm using my mostly my red here. Now we can take a little bit. Bob Ross does a little cowboy on the tree. I wasn't wanting to do the cowboy, but I feel like I should. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a regular paintbrush and do it how I know how to do it. <laughs> ah, he started at the hat. Hat, brim, little sleeve situation here. Yes, this is working. We've got a leg, nice there. Pull the shoulder there. Cool, that worked fine. Line here. We're adding another bush in to give one more layer using the Mayron Edge Black and then I'm going to go in with my highlights next. We can go in with a liner brush and touch on these logs. It's so shiny on the camera. Should I try and sign mine this time? That would be fun. Backwards, I don't know. Next week. I think we're done. Well, this is gonna be fun to photograph. I'm very interested to see how it goes. I think it came together a little bit. I don't know. I'm gonna have to sleep on this one for sure. Um, it's definitely very different than doing the mountains and the brighter scenes and all that. I hope you guys enjoyed painting with me. I'm going to finish my makeup and then come back. This is the final look. I did my makeup. I'm definitely gonna shoot it in front of the white backdrop and the black backdrop. I'm really looking forward to hearing any of your thoughts and comments down below if you guys have any questions. I know that the video might have been a little bit janky today. My setup was not quite on point, but I hope it worked. And I will share my final camera photos over on Instagram, so make sure you guys head over to Makeup Madhouse on Instagram to check it out. I also do these looks live on Snapchat, also Makeup Madhouse on Snapchat, if you want to become a part of the Snap fam over there. And I post on TikTok, Makeup Madhouse. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time and maybe we'll do another Bob Ross paint.